All right, my name is Saad Ali. I'm a software engineer at Google, and today I have here with me Janet. Janet is the co-chair of the Kubernetes uh, KubeCon for Seattle this year, as well as for China. Yeah, that's right. Uh, so, Janet, how did you get involved with, uh, let's start with Kubernetes. Uh, how did you get involved with the Kubernetes project to begin with? Um, so, I started with Kubernetes as my first project at Google. So in the beginning, I was interviewing at a bunch of places, and then I got a phone call from Google, and it's Tim Hawking. He's a principal software engineer at Google, and I had a um, brief conversation with him, and he just told me how great Kubernetes is, and it's going to change the world, and it's still very, very new at that time. So I just think, I just think, hmm, I. I decided to jump in the ship and go with the Kubernetes team. That's awesome. And how long ago was that? And it's three years ago. Three years. Congrats. So since then, you've been an avid contributor in the Kubernetes community. Uh, what are some of the things that you've contributed to in uh, over the last three years? Um, so I'm in the application special interest group. So we mainly focusing on uh, Kubernetes applications and your experience in your experience running uh, applications in Kubernetes. So the workloads API and like deployment API that most people are using and the stateful set and daemon set and jobs, current jobs, those of those kind of stuffs. And recently, I was working on improving the garbage collection of resources because I observed that a lot of users have resources in their clusters but they cannot clean them up very easily so I want to improve that part as well. That sounds awesome. So it sounds like recently you switched gears a little bit and uh, are taking on the task of leading putting together uh, KubeCon which uh, this one is 8,000 attendees. What is that like? How did you get involved and uh, what can you tell us about that? So a lot of people ask me the same question about how I get involved and how do they, how can they sign up? But actually, I didn't sign up, and I just got an email from Dan Khan. He's the executive of CNCF. He just asked me, "Hey, Janet, would you like to be the co-chair of KubeCon?" And I, I, I was like, "Oh my God! Of course, yes." That is awesome. Yeah. Were you uh, hesitant at all, or uh, did you have any concerns going in, or were you just excited? I, I'm just too excited, and then later I figure out, oh, there's a lot of things going on there, a lot of uh, uh, un, a lot of things that you need to do that normal attendees wouldn't know. There's a lot of work there. And so can you talk about some of that? What are the, some of the things that our audience might not know about that uh, goes into putting together an event like this? So first, we need to review all the CFPs. So CFP is like a proposal for your talk. So we need to review all of them and pick the ones that we think that the community can most benefit from. And also, we'll pick some of the talks and as a keynote uh, speeches. And also, we'll invite some industry leaders to give uh, keynotes if we think uh, they'll bring some new ideas to us. And then, uh, co-chairs need to do also do MC, and we also have a chance to do our own keynotes. And that's a you gave your there. first keynote this morning, right? Oh, I haven't given it. Oh, I'm sorry, okay. That will be tomorrow. Yeah, that will be tomorrow and on Thursday. That's super exciting. Uh, are you ready to be in front of the audience of uh, 8,000 people? Yeah. <laughs> That's super cool. So what are uh, some of the things that you know didn't quite go as expected uh, that maybe uh, you would suggest improvements on in the future? For KubeCon? For KubeCon, event planning, any of that? Um, so. For example, I did the co-chair for both Shanghai and Seattle. And at that time, because uh, Shanghai is the first one in Asia, so we did a bit of experiment. For example, we tried to have people submit to both conferences at once. But then later, we figured that caused some confusion to people. So we are not going to do that next year. So if you want to submit CIP, you submit to each conference individually. Got it. That's super cool. 
And uh, so outside of KubeCon, what are you uh, looking forward to in the next year in the Kubernetes community or anything at large? So I think serverless and uh, service mesh is taking off and a lot of people are building applications of Kubernetes. They are writing their own operators to operate their own applications and also people are building developer tools for you to easily create your uh, your operators and things like that so I'm very excited about how people you know build on top of kubernetes and make it easier to deploy applications yeah exactly well that sounds awesome thank you very much for your time Janet and uh, have a great rest of your uh, of uh, KubeCon here. This is a great event. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Take care.